you might have seen my other videos of R. Lee. We had the beginner's version, and then we had level two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain how I create chord, chord melody, or how I take level one up a notch to level two. Basically, what I do is I'll take a song, and I'll say, okay, I'll have the melody with just a simple, plain, single notes, and I'll have the chords written above it that, that go along with it, that the accompaniment that people generally play along with the, with the melody. And what I do is I say on the first beat, I'll say whatever chord you, whatever note you have on that first beat, that note has to be the highest note. And then the chord has to be in there too. So what I'll do, for example, if you look at this first illustration, you see just a, uh, you'll see a G note. Well, well that, that's, the, that's the first note. So when I play a C chord, which is the chord right above it, I have to make sure that's the highest note. So I'm not gonna hit a C like we typically do. I want to hit a C, but I'm going to make sure I only have three notes. My third string is the highest note, as you can see in the illustration about right now. So, you know, the first measure, instead of going... I want to hit a C chord. And I go to the next measure, instead of having just a D note, that's the highest note, but I want to have a D chord. But I don't hit the first string, I hit only the fourth, three, and two. And then when I go to the next measure, since it's a C, but there's a G chord on top, a G7, so I have to make sure I've got that C, which is not in a G chord. So that, what I do is I make it make a G7 like I normally do, but I'm going to catch that C, and I'm not going to hit the first string. And it actually becomes a G suspended fourth, because that C note is the fourth of a G, of a G chord. There you go. So, so, so I'm going to do that again. I have a, instead of just playing a single C note, I'm going to have a C chord. And then on the second measure, the first beat, I've got D. The next measure, I've got G7. It's sus4, though. Then it does that again. C on the first beat. D chord on the first beat. G sus. C. Make sure that C note is on the top. Make sure the melody is on the top. Then the next part, we have, we, we have a C, but the melody is E, so I hit all the, way to, all the way to the first string. And on E7, you have that same first string melody. And you have that same melody on A minor. And you have a C, the melody is E. But watch here. A7, but the melody is F. A, F is not in A7. So I put my first finger on that F note, and it happens to it becomes an A7 augmented. And then, and then I have a D chord. D is on top. Then a G sus again. So basically, just to recap, I went kind of quick, I know, but to recap it, what I do is I make sure that on the first beat of each measure, uh, instead of just having the single note, I play the chord that is that is above the first beat, and I, but I make sure that, that melody note is the highest note. That, that's the trick because our ear hears that highest note as the melody. Okay, so so I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Bye.